because you also have to remember that over there in Asia, they're not just dealing with stimulus for economic growth, for real estate development or small business development. They also have that population depletion scenario that's over there that's still happening. They are offering massive quantities of compensation to encourage individuals to reproduce. They are encouraging foreigners to go over there and reproduce. They're encouraging foreigners to go over there and start up businesses, and they're offering as much as $23,000 or $30,000, depending on the value of the yen to the yuan the to the U.S. dollar um, on varying years, but as low as $23,000, which is approximately three years and three weeks worth of standard of living over in the Japan sector to start up a business and hire two local people to run the business. If you were to start up some kind of mom and pop shop that required a cook and a waitress, you hire two people, you walk away from the business, they're getting paid, they're going to make money for you. You don't have to do anything and you just made $23,000. Likewise, that $23,000 you could use to cover everybody's payroll. You can, in fact, take a percentage of that money, put it somewhere where that money is making money for you. And then you can take the principal off of that $20,000 or $23,000 and put it towards paying the, the income of the, the employees until the business takes off. Either way it goes, you just made $23,000 to go to another country, start up a business where the United States will not tax you on income received from that business as long as that business does not exceed $120,000 abroad. So ideally, you could have five or 10 or 15 hundred thousand dollar businesses with a $20,000 variance that are all non-taxed by the U.S. government. Doesn't mean it won't get taxed in the Chinese government. It just means that it won't get taxed in the U.S. government. And then you would be able to uh, benefit from revenue abroad. Um, they also have those uh, incentives that are encouraging expats to go over there and repopulate. And that is going to be paid for by the Chinese government. They, they have in places like South Korea where they, they have uh, certain companies that are offering $75,000 to its employees to have children. They, they have other places like uh, Taiwan that is offering a massive uh, uh, stimulus deduction that covers the cost of travel to Taiwan from America. They have other another thing that's happened in China where they're encouraging individuals with U.S. passports to travel through China by giving you free flights. So once you spend the two grand to get there, you can fly all over Asia for free as long as you show them that you are a U.S. citizen that is traveling. So while when you originally budgeted traveling to three or four different countries while you got out there and putting aside a few hundred dollars per plane ticket, they're getting rid of all of those costs. So you could literally fly every day to a different location while you're over there for free as a U.S. citizen, you just have to make sure that you get back to your original airport or whatever your departing airport is so that you can fly back from uh, uh, Asia. Because from what I understand, one of the requirements to go out there is that you're supposed to have a round trip ticket. Um, I, I have to go back and double check that because there might be a you might be able to get there on a one way and have the intent to return. But at the very least, you, whatever airport you're planning on going back from, you got to fly your way back to that airport or change your ticket location, one of the two. Now, here's the thing. 